Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video of uh, Schedule 1. I have been getting a few comments on my last video about the barn setup and uh, the handler presets and the path routes for the mixers. So in this video, we're going to be, we're just going to be tearing it all down and we'll do it step by step. Got to make sure we've got no product on there. So let's just, and to be honest, this will be a good way for us or for me to address some of those problems that we we're having with the pathfinding. Okay, so as I explained on the other video about the pathfinding and the distances the handlers have to walk. So I kind of want to just set up your storage for your strain. So that's going to be whatever first strain that you're going to use for the seven steps. So I've been using Granddaddy Purple as a starter strain. So we'll put that there. Okay, we've got our seven mixes down. Just trying to think maybe we should just a little bit. Maybe move it forward. Pathfinding, just had a good idea. So we're going with a different design, I reckon. Boom, boom. A better, yeah, that's a lot better. I like that. It's a lot more cleaner, to be honest. A lot cleaner i reckon maybe even if we um with the way things are sitting we could like compress it a little bit more so instead of having a bigger space but for now we're just going for the basic design so now what we need to do grab our handlers actually no we'll go we'll go for our chemist first chemist will take on three Lisa, you get the one. But in turn, now that she's getting the mixing, the one mixing station, she can still always like still be used for other stuff on the side. So she's not completely useless. So we got all the mixes set up with the chemist. Now it is for we want to be doing using the routes. So. We would like to be using that route put the base strain into the mixer then she'll need to put the ingredient into the mixer that's one so she will whenever you put ingredients on on this storage shelf the handler will move that ingredient to this mixer so if you go bam 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 Bam. Grab our other handler. Fill it up. Bam. Sweet. Now that we have a handler assigned to each of the storages and a chemist assigned to each of the mixers, basically automatic. So we kind of want the ingredients for this mixer to go to this mixer. Go to threshold. Same as this one. I want the destination for this mixer to go this mixer. This destination to the end product, go to the large storage rack. And that's pretty much, pretty much it as in terms of automation, I will get. <laughs> Get the ingredients and we'll test it out. Okay, so now we've got about, about we've got about a stack, about twenty on each of our shelves, ready to be put into the mixers. Obviously, we fill it out to produce more. Make sure our workers are paid diligently. They are hard workers. Probably already here, the handlers are actually starting to work. So the handlers will move the weed, strain, and the mixing ingredient from the storages to the mixer. And the chemist should come in. Start his or her thing. Oh, good evening. Good morning, actually. 
So that's our first first part of the strain. If anyone was wondering, you basically you're gonna have to use work your way up until you get the clipboard. So technically, you get the clipboard when you first hire one of your employees, um, and then you bet you can basically manage each machine with the clipboard and then manage your employee accordingly. But that's why the handlers are really nice, especially with the automated process. You might need a couple more to do like maybe other things. Setting these routes to each of the storages is very handy. So now she will take that strain and put it into this strain and then start mixing this strain in this mixer with that ingredient, so on and so forth. Until it gets to the last mixer and then that will be desiccated straight onto this storage. There we go. We'll just let this burn off. We'll get to the seventh strain. I think the only problem with this setup, uh, it's obviously very customizable for situational things, but I think the hardest problem with this is, is the fact that you have to manually stack the ingredients into the storage unless you get like a system going where you get like deliveries dropped off to a storage setting another handler have his routes deliver the ingredients from the pickup then just have a steady steady supply of ingredients being delivered to the to the barn um but yeah we'll let this with this play out until we get to the end and um see you then So I have made a mistake with the the mixes, the handler's pathfinder. It was at Paul. Let's just do them quickly again. Mistakes are bound to happen. That's with it. most games, especially with any game that's got an automated system. You just got to keep trial and testing and testing and trialing, seeing what works. Okay, so that's perfect. Perfect, perfect. There we have it. We got our sweet smegma strain. Seven step strain. Automated. So just to go through it one more time. What you'll need is three chemists, two handlers, and then the botanist and cleaner is optional. The botanist will, uh, he grows the strain that you want. So we're doing granddaddy purple. And then destination that I want for these pots will be to this large storage. So, and then a handler, we will program their path to grab the strain from this storage and put into the mixer, the first mixing station second path that she will be getting will be to this storage which will have the, pro, uh, the mixing agent she or him will put it into the mixing station so forth to obviously reach the last set the destination for the last one here to the output and then in between you'll set each destination to the mixer to the next one follows in order that's basically as simple as i can get it really what we just did earlier is condensing it a little bit more or changing it around and by moving the strain closer to the closer to the first mixer cuts out that time instead of moving it from all the way down there moving it to there cuts out time hopefully you enjoyed this more in depth uh, tutorial about the barn operation if you've got any more questions i'm glad to try and answer them and help you through i also appreciate the feedback and how i'm doing because i'm very quite new to just making videos in general i have made videos in the past but i thought 
I've been loving this game heaps. I thought I'd make a video. Um, so yeah, I'm quite new to this. So I appreciate all the feedback and um, all the love as well. See you when I see you and thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Catch up.